Oh, yay. All manner of persons having ought to do before the honorable, the judges of the several courts being held this day, in and for the county of Oklahoma, come forth and give your attendance, and you shall be heard. God save the commonwealth and this honorable court. Will everyone please remain standing and uh, judge Munley and Judge Mazzoni will Thank lead you. us in the pledge. Thank you. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our courthouse on this very, very important day. The uh, and Happy New Year to everyone. Beginning the swearing in of the new commissioners, bringing in uh, uh, a new uh, administration is uh, exciting for everyone. It's not to suggest that the old administrations haven't been wonderful because they, they have, but it's uh, obviously the common spoke and they wanted young blood and they've certainly gotten young blood in the um, in the three commissioners, that includes you two, Chris, <laughs> that have been elected. So at this point, I would like to call upon Father Cyril Edwards to give us our invocation. Well, I understand was a, a student along with, or with Judge Gibbons, you were classmates at the U. I was a better student. Just pray, Father. <laughs> if, if my voice isn't strong, it's, it's not because I'm sick, it's because I... Uh, was yelling at a TV on Sunday while my Philadelphia Eagles attempted to play football. But that's another issue. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, bless all those who serve us, begin terms of service today for the people of, of Northeastern Pennsylvania. Bless them with wisdom, give them vision, and courage that will enable them to make difficult decisions, but prudent ones. May they seek your help and being good leaders. May they care about the common good, the common man, the common woman, always mindful of those who are less fortunate. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. At this point, we're going to do the administration of the oaths. The first will be the Honorable Commissioner Chris Chermack, the oath administered by the Honorable Frank Ruggiero. <coughs> Chris, if you would, please raise your right hand. I, Chris Shermack, I, Chris Shermack, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support, obey, and defend, that I will support, obey, and defend, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and that I will discharge, discharge the duties of my office, I will discharge the duties in my office as County Commissioner of Lackawanna County, as County Commissioner of Lackawanna County, with fidelity. With fidelity. That I have not paid or contributed. That I have not paid or contributed. Or promised to pay or contribute. Or promised to pay or contribute. Either directly or indirectly. Either directly or indirectly. Any money or other valuable things. Any money or any other valuable things. To procure my nomination or election. To procure my nomination or election. Except for necessary and proper expenses. Except for necessary and proper expenses. Expressly authorized by law. Expressly authorized by law. That I have not knowingly violated any election law. That I have knowingly not violated any election law. Of this commonwealth. Of this commonwealth or procured it to be done, or procured it to be done by others on my behalf, by others on my behalf, that I will not knowingly, that I will not knowingly, 
receive directly or indirectly, receive directly or indirectly, any mon money or other valuable thing, any money or value or any other valuable thing, for the performance or non-performance, for the performance or non-performance of any act or duty, of any act or duty pertaining to my office as Lackawanna County Commissioner, pertaining to my office as Lackawanna County Commissioner, other than the compensation allowed by law. Other than the compensation allowed by law. Congratulations. Judge Ruggiero, do they have to promise their firstborn? Well, yeah. well <laughs> you'll have to ask Mr. Castellano about that. That is quite an old. Thank you, Judge Ruggiero. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I think if Matt or Billy have any more kids, we need to do this at the Cultural Center next time. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm happy that everyone is here. Uh, happy New Year. Um, you know, it's hard to believe this is, I can't believe I'm actually standing here four years later. We just, it seems like I just did this. Um, <clears throat> and I can remember Right after this, we had our little meeting, and then I, I was sitting in my office looking out at the Times. I think Boris was looking back at me, and uh, I'm thinking, all right, now what? So buckle up, guys, but uh, it'll, be, it'll be fun. It'll be great. We have a lot to do, but I want to thank my family for their support, my wife, who always puts everybody before herself, um, my daughters here today, PJ, Keith, my team, Jim, Diana, uh, Karen's here. Uh, just so many people that helped me along the way and they've been here for many, many years helping me and I appreciate it. Um, but we are going to keep things going. Um, I'm proud to say that we're going to keep the, uh, the, suicide, the Lackawanna County Suicide Prevention Alliance up and running and going strong. Um, we're going to continue to work hard for our veterans and keep that office working every day. Um, but we have a great team over at the county building. They do a great job every day. I'm proud to work with them. I'm proud to call them my friends, my colleagues. Our, our justice, our, our, our bench here, they're all my friends. I consider you all my friends and thank you for your guidance my last four years. And um, I know the doors are always open the next four years coming. But I appreciate everybody, everyone here today. Uh, but God bless. Lackawanna County, God bless Pennsylvania, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Next up, we have Bill Vaughn. The oath of office will be administered by the Honorable Mary Walsh. <laughs> deliberation is one of the fundamental characteristics of a prudent man. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a prudent man standing in front of you today. Um, I know this firsthand, having worked alongside him on Scranton City Council. This is a man that will deliberate on important decisions. He will look at all sides of an issue, and he will think long and hard how to address these issues and to do what's best for the common good. I learned so much from him about leadership, governing, and diplomacy during my time on council along with my friend Kyle Donegal, who is now the state representative. What you are getting in Bill Gawhan is a leader, someone who's intelligent, who has attention to detail, pragmatic, tenacious, polite tenacious, polite, polite tenacity, we like to call it, who will make evidence-based decisions. Um, in light of Martin Luther King Day, which is coming up, I love a good quote, I know you love a good quote too. Um, may you always remember the words of Martin Luther King Jr. that the time is always right to do what's right. And the other question that Martin Luther King commonly asked, what are you doing for others? Bill, I have watched you lead a life for others, you and your lovely, intelligent wife, Kelly, and these five beautiful children. And what you can do now for the county on a grander scale is going to impact so many lives, and I'm greatly looking forward to it. 
So to conclude, during the next four years, may you have eyes that see but visualize. May you have ears that not only listen but hear the people and what they say to you. May you have a mind that's not only intelligent but perceptive and creative and imaginative when it comes to solutions. And may you have a heart that not only feels and loves but one that always remains concerned and empathetic. With that having been said, let's start with this one here. Who's going to hold the Bible? We're dead. Alright, we have a little volunteer. Alright. It's a little long, so it's repeat after me. I will God. I will God. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support, obey, and defend. That I will support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. That I will discharge the duties of my office. That I will discharge the duties of my office. As County Commissioner of Lackawanna County. As County Commissioner of Lackawanna County. With fidelity. With fidelity. I agree that I have not paid or contributed. I agree that I have not paid or contributed. Or promised to pay or contribute. Or promised to pay or contribute. Either directly or indirectly. Either directly or indirectly. Any money or other valuable things. Any money or other valuable things. To procure my nomination or election. To procure my nomination or election. Except for necessary and proper expenses. Except for necessary and proper expenses. Expressly authorized by law. Expressly authorized by law. I have not knowingly violated. And not knowingly violated any election law of this commonwealth. Any election law of this commonwealth. Or procured it to be done. Or, or procured it to be done. By others on my behalf. By others on my behalf. That I will not knowingly receive. That I will not knowingly receive. Directly or indirectly. Directly or indirectly. Any money or other valuable thing. Any money or other valuable thing. For the performance or non-performance. For the performance or non-performance. Of any act or duty. Of any act or duty. Pertaining to my office. Pertaining to my office. As lack of law commissioner. Other than that compensation allowed by law. Other than that compensation allowed by law. And it's my distinct honor to congratulate you, Commissioner Law. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's a few people that I would like to thank this morning. To President Judge Corbett and to our esteemed bench, to Judge McCaffrey, I want to thank you for hosting us this morning and for the wonderful job that you do on behalf of the citizens of our county. I also want to thank Frank Castellano. Uh, I, Matt and I and Chris have been in touch with Frank over the last few weeks to put this entire program together. He's our court administrator, so I want to thank him for his work uh, and all that he put into this. I want to thank Father Edwards. Uh, that was a beautiful invocation. And on behalf of Father Edwards, I'd like all of you to keep the eagles in your thoughts and prayers over the next <laughs> few weeks. I think they need some divine Lots. intervention. Lots. I want to thank Judge Mary Walsh Dempsey. Judge, that was a beautiful uh, introduction. I appreciate it. I had the honor, and it was an honor, to serve with Judge Dempsey on Scranton City Council. And I have not met a more honorable, ethical, driven person uh, than Judge Dempsey. And it was a, a real pleasure to serve with her. I was really sad when she left, but she's, I'm, I'm glad you're a, a, a judge. So thank you again. Uh, I want to thank all the elected officials who are here today, uh, Congressman Cartwright, all of our, Senator Flynn, all of our state representatives, um, and there's a lot of former Lackawanna County commissioners here as well, so I really want to thank you for coming. I have to thank, of course, my wife, Kelly. Uh, Kelly has been with me since day one of this journey in, in political life. And as, many, as you've heard many people say, you cannot do this without uh, having someone like your wife behind you. Otherwise, you couldn't do it. So Kelly, I love you. Thank you so much for, uh, for all that you, you do for us. I have to thank my children. Uh, my son, Jack, who's spiffy today. Uh, my son, Jack, is eight years old. My son, Murphy, who's seven. My daughter, Maeve, who got a lot of makeup for Christmas. <laughs> Mary, and our newest addition, Delia. Um, you know, one of the reasons why I got involved in, in public life 10 years ago was because of my children, uh, to show them that it is important to be involved. And politics today in our world, as you know, can be nasty and divisive. Um, and I wanted to set the example for them that it's OK to be involved in public life, as long as you have 
a, a moral compass and an ethical compass and you want to do the right thing. I want to thank my mom, Marie, and my dad, Jack, who are in the audience for all of their love and support over the years. Uh, I drove them to drink a little bit, I think, uh, since I was a <laughs> But I want to thank them so much for everything. Uh, my brother, Eddie, and Jackie, and my sisters, Katie and Kelly, uh, for everything that they've done for me. Um, all of my aunts and uncles. My Aunt Ann is here. I think my Aunt, Mar my Aunt Maureen is here. I don't know if my Aunt Peggy's here. I have a lot of aunts. My uncles, uh, Jerry, John, and Billy, thank you for everything that you've done uh, for me. I really, really appreciate it. I also, today, as I'm standing up here, I can't help but think of my grandparents, uh, Bill and Elizabeth Gawhan, and Ed and Helen Trentley. Uh, they would be so proud uh, that I was sworn in today and, uh, and in public service and in giving back to the community. I also have to thank my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. Got a really, really great support system, uh, Jim and Mari Wright. And uh, if we need somebody to watch the kids, they will do it in a pinch. So thank you so much for everything. And my sister-in-law, Carrie, is here today as well. So thanks, Carrie, for everything. Uh, I also, and this is kind of unique, I have to thank my family uh, in Ireland, in County Mayo, because uh, I know they'll be watching this program. Uh, my parents and I had the opportunity in July to travel over to Ireland, and uh, my cousins and all the people in County Mayo have one request uh, if I were to win as a county commissioner, and that's to get a plane, uh, a flight from our airport to the west of Ireland and knock. So I have to try to get that done. I also, uh, finally, I want to thank the co-chairs of our transition, uh, Pat Breyer, uh, Dr. Katie Leonard, and Jim Tierney. Uh, they have guided Matt and us over the last several months, and I can't thank them enough uh, for all that they've, they've done for us um, and their advice and their expertise. And I really want to uh, thank Pat Breyer. Pat has uh, helped me since the beginning, since I announced I was going to run, and I've not met anyone in, in the political sphere who is as ethical and is as good of a person and wants to do good for our community. So thanks, Pat, uh, for everything. And I also want to thank all of the transition committee members who are, uh, many of them are here today as well. So it just dawned on me as I was sitting here earlier how important it is for me to enjoy every last second of today because this will be the last time I have this many friends. So thank you. <laughs> so I'm really going to soak it in. Um, my daughter, Maeve, who I mentioned before, who's four years old, asked me this morning if they always have a party like this every time I get a new job. So <laughs> she's going to be very disappointed when she starts her first job in, in about 12 years. But I'm honored uh, to be a Lackawanna County Commissioner. You know, standing here this morning in our historic courthouse and as a former history teacher, I'm reminded of the early days in our county when coal mines fueled our economy in the, the Industrial Revolution where our labor force built the foundation of the country, and I'm reminded of the resilient spirit of our immigrant ancestors that carried us through so many challenging times. Our county has faced many triumphs and many tribulations since 1878, but we've always emerged stronger and more united. Today marks not just the beginning of a new chapter in our uh, county's history, but a promise. A promise to build upon our heritage to learn from our past and to envision a future where Lackawanna County stands as a beacon of progress, innovation, and prosperity. I want our county to be a place where economic opportunities flourish, where we can attract new industries and create good paying, family sustaining jobs, where our children want to put down their roots and raise their families, and where they can dream without limitations. It's through collaboration, open dialogue, and a commitment to common goals that we can transform these possibilities into realities. As I step into this role today, I am acutely aware of the trust that's been placed in me. I promise all of you that transparency and ethics will be the bedrock of this administration. We will strive for openness in every decision that is made, ensuring that you, the people we serve, have access to the information that you deserve. Ethical governance is non-negotiable, and I pledge to uphold the highest standards of integrity making decisions that prioritize the well-being of our community as a whole. In closing, I'm filled with hope and optimism for the days ahead. To all of us in this room and up and down this valley, Lackawanna County is more than just a place on a map. It's a vibrant, resilient community with a proud history and a promising future. 
Our challenges are real and they are immense, but so are all of the opportunities. I'm ready to get to work so that we can write a new chapter in the history of our county, one that is filled with progress, unity, and the enduring spirit of our community. Thank you. States of America. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And that I will discharge the duties of my office. And that I will discharge the duties of my office. As County Commissioner of Lackawanna County. As County Commissioner of Lackawanna County. With fidelity. With fidelity. That I have not paid or contributed. That I have not paid or contributed. Or promised to pay or contribute. Or, prom or promised to pay or contribute. Either directly or indirectly. Either directly or indirectly. Any money? Any money? Or other valuable things. Or other valuable things. <coughs> to procure my nomination or election. To procure my nomination or election. Except for necessary and proper expenses. Except for necessary and proper expenses. Expressly authorized by law. Expressly authorized by law. That I have not knowingly. That I have not knowingly. Violated any election law of this commonwealth. Violated any election law of this commonwealth. Or procured it to be done by others on my behalf. Or procured it to be done by others on my behalf. That I will not knowingly. That I will not knowingly. Receive. Receive. Directly or indirectly. Directly or indirectly. Any money. Any money. Or other, or other valuable thing. Or other valuable thing. For the performance. For the performance. Or non-performance. Or non-performance. Of any act or duty. Of any act or duty. Pertaining to my office as Lackawanna County Commissioner. Pertaining to my office as Lackawanna County Commissioner. Other than compensation allowed by law. Other than compensation allowed by law. Congratulations. everybody say hi, hi. Oh. <laughs> thank you thank you there uh, I, I promise to be brief there have been too many humbling moments in my life to count but today is one that I I will never forget but go ahead everyone here today and many more of the hard-working men and women of Lackawanna County have chosen to place their trust in myself Bill Gahan and Chris Shermack and I pledge to you that we, work, we will work together each day to honor that trust. I would not be standing here today without the patience, the determination, and the unconditional support of my loving, my loving wife, Bailey. So thank you. And our two little boys that are, that are here today, as you can probably imagine, is a bit hectic in the McGloin household. Uh, I want to thank my parents, my family, my friends, and everyone else that I've met along the way. I got into this race for a few very personal reasons. And each reason has to do with making our community a better place to live, to work, and to raise a family. I've always believed that Lackawanna County deserves leaders as dedicated, 
as principled and as honest as the hardworking families they serve. Now the road to solving our problems will not be easy and our shared goals will not be reached overnight. But make no mistake, I believe in our communities. I believe in all that our communities can be. And I truly believe that our best days are ahead of us. Today is our first step, but certainly not our last. Today, the real work of building a stronger, safer, and more prosperous Lackawanna County begins. I thank you all for your friendship, for your belief, and your unyielding support. God bless you, and God bless Lackawanna County, and I hope my one-year-old did not break the podium. Thank you. Go ahead. And let us pray. Lord God, every oath taken today, all our, our public servants, gives them an opportunity and an obligation to serve us well. We pray, and we pray for them every day. They do their work with honor, integrity, and compassion. Passion for the newcomer and those less fortunate. We make these prayers in your name. Amen. Amen. Judge. Thank you. <coughs> we are adjourned. I would have asked Judge Munley, but he talked for four hours. <laughs> I wanted to say, say hello to Mayor Jim Towner. I'll actually just mention his name. Yeah. 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 Yeah.